Next question is from Jamie Self. Are there adverse health effects when eating close to going to bed? Should you eat dinner hours before? Yeah, there's there's some documented uh, negative effects from eating too close to bed. So the, the thing you want to focus on when you're going to sleep is allowing your body's natural circadian rhythm to register that it's time to sleep. Now, for most of human history, this was very easy. We lived outside. The sun would fall. Um, as the sun would, would kind of come down in the sky, the sky would get a little darker. So now our brain is getting the signal that it's getting darker, time to sleep. We probably did not cook and eat our meals in the dark when our predators were around and we couldn't see them very well when they would smell the food. So we probably ate the food when the sun was still up and then you know we didn't eat it close to bed. And we do know that the organs are a part of your uh, circadian rhythm. So it's not just light that affects your circadian rhythm. It's also your internal organs. So you could be in a dark room, but you eat food. Now your stomach is digesting, and that's sending a signal to your brain that says- And you're horizontal as you're digesting. Right. Yeah, and you're also horizontal. It's it's not really good, and it'll affect your sleep negatively. So one of the, one of the, the most important things you could do in order to get good sleep is to allow your circadian rhythm to register that it's time for sleep. That means you don't eat anything about a couple hours before bed. You are in a dark, your room is dark, your house is dark, or you wear blue light blocking glasses before you go to bed. Let your brain and body know it's time to sleep instead of doing this. Instead of lights are on, it's bright, I'm eating, oh, time to go to bed. You hit the pillow and you expect your your brain and body just to go to sleep. Yeah. It takes like an hour for it to start to register that. I think you can get away with this when you're younger and you're just kind of like, uh, you're not really paying close attention to all these types of things. Uh, I, I went through this process where I really had to now pay more attention because my digestion uh, was something that was getting affected. Uh, the types of food I was eating, I had to pay attention to. The timing of like if I went past a certain amount of time, it, it was starting to interrupt my sleep because of being horizontal and also having issues with acid reflux, uh, things like that. Uh, you know, maybe like it, it doesn't really... Uh, it doesn't look like it's a big issue like when it's not affecting you right now, but it may become an issue later. It's something that I would highly suggest, you know, uh, you start to consciously move towards that direction because it will help enhance your sleep. It, it, it will benefit, uh, you know, all these other factors if you start to kind of incorporate these things that are just naturally, uh, you know, something to pay attention to. So it depends on who I'm talking to. Right, so because we say that right now, right, and um, now I envision the, you know, we're working on our hard gainer stuff, right? We're doing a lot of content for that, and I think about the kid who's like, Adam, um, I know I heard on Mind Pump that you guys say that it's you know not ideal for me to eat a big meal right before I go to bed, um, and you know you're trying to get me to build muscle right now, and I'm at you know 2,500 calories, and I'm I need to be at 3,500 calories. Um, should I not eat? Because it's unhealthy. Yeah, that's that's the, that's a, it's still a trade off, but a hundred percent right great point. So so it really and it, now and then take another client. You know, hey Adam, um, I my main goal is to be healthy and longevity. And you know, sure I want to build a little bit of muscle. Sure I want to burn a little bit of body fat. But that's my number one priority. Um, you know, I only had so many calories today. It's now nine o'clock at night. I'm going to go to bed in the next half hour, hour. Should I eat or not eat? Oh, don't eat. It's not a big deal. Eat less calories today. It's not a big deal at all for that person, you know, especially if you're trying to lose weight then, right? So if someone's trying to lean out and they, you know, their, their calorie target for the day is normally 2,500 and they're at, you know, 1700 calories. So they technically could, they technically could eat more calories, but now it's already 930 at night and they go, um, Adam, I'm getting ready to go to bed in the next 30 minutes, but I'm only at 1,700 calories. Should I eat again? No, don't eat. You don't need to. So it really depends on who I'm talking to. If if your goal is you're trying to gain and you struggle to get the calories in, and then you hear us talking about how it isn't ideal to eat before bed, well, it's not. And like Sal said, it's a trade off. Like it is not the most ideal, but it's also for somebody who is har having a hard time getting enough calories. You might find yourself having to do this sometimes. I know I did when I when I was trying to gain mm. and I was eating five thousand calories a day. I needed every waking moment <laughs> yeah. of time to to eat. It meant, it meant, as soon as I got up, I needed to start eating, and then hopefully I'd be hungry in two hours later, so I'd eat again, and that happened every two hours all the way till okay, I'm about to go to bed, and I'm eating you know a peanut butter and jelly sandwich one one time after I go to right before I go to bed. Same here. It was mm. the same thing. In fact, I used to set my alarm in the middle of the night to wake up to, to have a, a shake. shake. Yeah, yeah, which is hilarious. You know, I would recommend. To to this person that make your last meal before bed a shake. It's just easier to digest. Right. It's not going to affect you as negatively. It still is an effect, 
but it's not like eating a meal of like hard food that you have to really digest. No, that's great it. advice. In fact, that's ex- so while I was competing in, and when I talk about numbers like 5,000, which is ridiculous, but it was I, that I was eating, I would eat dinner around 6 or 7 p.m. at night and then I'd have this big shake right before bed. So yeah. I'd have this big- Yeah, imagine if you flipped that, right? You had yes. the shake and then had a big dinner before bed. Right, right. And that for that exact reason, because I know that that shake will easily digest in 30 minutes to an hour where food takes more like two hours plus to digest. And so I would know, oh, you know what? I'm getting ready to go to bed in the next half hour. Most of this shake will already be digested before I actually go to sleep. Yeah. Now, the vast majority of people listening are not dealing with super fast metabolisms where they need to eat tons and tons of calories. So most people listening, you're better off not eating a couple hours before bed. But those that small percentage of people who was like me when I was a kid, uh, if I didn't eat, have a shake right before bed, I would miss my calorie and protein targets. So for that, there was that trade-off, and it was worth it uh, for me. In that case, I agree with you, Adam.